Arturo Servín, Google. I think that we should analyze the proposals and the problems that we want to resolve. And before submitting any proposal, I think that we need to very thoroughly consider if submitted it or not. We are all volunteers, well, except LACNIC staff, they do have a salary, but we are all volunteers. We want the best for LACNIC. We want to solve the problems that truly are problems. So I encourage everyone to generate proposals. I'm not saying that we should not submit proposals, but we want proposals that actually do solve problems. Because if we're all here, are we 300, 400 people here today? So if we consider how much time we are devoting to this event and we translate that into money, well, that is a good amount of money. So consider that everyone has many other things to do. So is it really worthwhile? Is this a truly big problem that we need to address? So that's what I would like to convey to everyone. Let's be more critical and let's really analyze if the problems that we want to solve really are problems. Thank you, Arturo. Mariela? Did you have an announcement? Hola, si me escuchan. Thank you. So before wrapping up the forum, let me say that, well, for the elections for the new PDP chair, and as we announced in the public policy list, we are welcoming Sergio Rojas for a new period as a co-chair for the public policy forum. So Sergio will take on his role once again from now until May 2026. So once again, Sergio, welcome. Thank you. Okay, so that brings us to the end to LACNIC 41 Public Policy Forum. Thank you to all authors, LACNIC staff, and everyone who participated in the room and online. And we'll continue in touch under the mailing list. I'll see you at LACNIC 42. And that brings us to the end of the forum. Thank you, everyone.